Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having some iced coffee, and it's going to be a scorcher. It's going to be in the 90s for a week to 10 days, maybe two weeks, but the heat index with the uh, humidity, it's going to be like, it's going to feel like it's 105 degrees, so um, I do have the generator, I can run the air conditioner, um, yeah, the baby chicks, I don't even know if I'll have to use a heat mat for them while this is going on. So, yeah, it's going to be crazy, and I'm running out of water. Uh, Mr. Lucas did say I could come over and get some water from his well, so at least I'll be able to keep the animals watered and the plants watered while this is going on. Anyhow, so, kickstand. You know that he's got that weird leg. Well, it is getting worse. The bigger he gets, the more it splays out to the back. So he's basically a chicken that's just doing the splits. Um, and he's pretty much been, you know, kind of like just scooting around on his belly. And he's starting to lose some feathers, so he's starting to suffer. I mean, I, I would consider this at the point that he's suffering. But I think I'm going to try and fix the leg because the leg is actually not broken. It's just splayed. The, the musculature... Um, from the day he was born, and I don't know, I think it may have been um, an, a situation with him not getting out of the egg correctly, um, because that leg was just turned. There's nothing wrong with the leg except for the muscles aren't holding it in the right place. So, I've been doing a little research on what can be done on very young baby chicks. If you catch it right away, um, you can put this little hobbling thing on them, and um, it, it can help them turn that leg around and start walking normally. But um, this guy is like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine weeks old, something like that. So I may not be able to uh, fix it, and in which case I will call him because if he is just going to be wallowing around on his belly, that's, that's not a life for a chicken. So I'm going to try this thing. And I'll show you what I'm trying to do. This is kickstand. This is what his legs look like. One is normal and one is all the way out to the back of him. And he can't even bring it out to the side anymore. So what I've got to do is... I've got to find a way to bring his bad leg kind of up to the side. I can't be too drastic at first, but this is the first step. I think my first goal is to just bring it out to the side like this. But I've got to find a way to secure the leg in that position. I really like this idea. It looks like there's a straw that has kind of like a looped around um, thread or rubber band or something in there. That would work on a little tiny baby chick, but I don't think it would work on kickstand because he's bigger, he's very strong. He'd be able to like pull and stretch that and probably get it off. So I'm looking into doing something more like this. It looks like they've used some kind of adhesive material to kind of bring the legs closer together. This is a little tiny baby chick, so you can bring them all the way like that right from the very beginning. Um, I wish I had done that right when I first got him, uh, but I didn't. So I'm going to see if I can play catch up and do kind of the same thing as this, but maybe just a little different. So since I'm only going to bring it kind of like this far, uh, just to begin with, I am just going to use a combination of gauze around the legs, um, wrap that with Coban, and then I have some duct tape. Yes, it has to be very strong because kickstand is strong and he's likely to peck at it. The other chickens are likely to peck at it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll pick him up and show you what it looks like, what I got on his legs. But let's see if he can walk. See that? He's starting to stand up. Oh yes, he is standing taller. He's not dragging his belly. Of course, he's still very awkward. Look at that. He is standing up. He's not dragging. He's not scooting around on his belly. I'm tossing like pieces of bread out to encourage him to get up and walk. Yeah, yep, he's awkward, but it seems to be working.
Yep, there he goes. Oh, look at, look at the other two chicks. They, they flank him to protect him. That is so sweet. You can kind of see what I've done. See that? I don't know if I want to pick him up today. I don't want to stress him out. But look at that. He is, he is standing up now, and he is not scooting on his belly. Good boy. This must be exhausting for him, poor guy. I'm really impressed. Even bringing the leg just kind of out to the side from it being all the way to the back, it has made a huge difference. All right. You go, boy. Oh my gosh, look at those mushrooms. Look at So much better. You gonna run? <laughs> yep. Now let me take a look at this mushroom. Oh, there was one there. I'll pull that off. That's just the stem, but look at these. I've seen them on these stumps before. Um, they're not edible. I'm not exactly sure what kind they are, but all I do know is that I don't think they're death caps, but I don't think they're edible mushrooms, so I'm just going to take them and toss them. I am very pleased at the progress. Just basically just putting it on made a difference. And so as the days go by, um, I'm going to give him a couple days with it like that. And then I'm going to pull the legs closer together each time that I do it. And it's going to be easy to snip off because it's got the gauze and, and the the coban so I mean the the duct tape is not stuck to his legs so there's not going to be an issue with that um, but I wanted to protect his legs so uh, in the coming days I'll show you his progress but so far even just doing that little bit made a huge difference so um let's look at the baby chicks oh look at one is up there ha 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 oh two the leghorn is up there Oh yeah, they're they're just getting cuter and cuter every day. Come on, sweet babies. And, and now if I if I let this top up, I know that they're gonna jump off and jump up. Cause they're they're getting up on this thing now. They're doing good. They're getting some of them are getting wings. Like that one. And this one. Look at those pretty striped wings. Oh, Zoom a zoom. Uh, okay, there's Zoomy. <laughs> zoom zoom. I don't know. They might all start getting zoomy. Yeah, I need to put some more food in there. Look at those pretty colors. Even the leghorns getting wings. They're all developing wings. Every single last one. Yeah, I think this one is going to be barred rock. So, I'm not sh seeing any signs of roosters yet, but I don't know. I know I've got a few roosters, likely. So, <laughs> they're just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Let's see if I can lift this up, if you can see a little bit better. Are you going to be zoomy zoom again? That face is just, oh my gosh. Yep, they're doing good. So I gotta change their water, give them some more food. I get Mr. Baby Chicks. <laughs> You're so cute. There you go, sweet babies. Gosh, I, I cannot wait to see these chickens grow up because they are adorable now. And fermenting the chicken feed has been working out great um, because those pellets, I kind of mix a little bit of it together with the pellets, but they really love it. All right. Ooh, you go chicken. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.